Now, if you're a long time subscriber of the channel, you know that I've had the same banner for about one and a half years. I've had this one that was made by Fricky for pretty much an eternity, it feels like. <laughs> and I absolutely love it. I think it's super iconic, but it uses my old holy mackerel. And since I upgraded my mackerel a couple months ago, I figured, hey, why not make a new banner? And to do that, I figured it would be really fun to host a banner art competition on my Discord server because my server is full of all kinds of different super talented artists and I thought it would be a really fun community event. Now, before I even get into this video, I want to say thank you to everybody that has participated in the event. The turnout has been amazing and I I'm so grateful to have this amazing community of people that allows me to do fun stuff like this. The turnout was so amazing that the prize pool went from this to this. I decided to more than triple it because, dude, the, the art that was submitted, it, it's so good. I cannot wait to get into this. Now, for the honorable mention, we have this banner made by Upbeat Spade. He is notorious in my Discord server. He makes all kinds of profile pictures for the members and everything. He has this really cool art style, and he was kind enough to make a banner for the event. He's got my main scout, of course, and some of my lesser-known class loadouts. We've got my pyro, my demo man, my soldier, and my spy, and I think this looks awesome. I really love the glow around all of the classes, especially on demo night. That just looks amazing. It's got that blue and white icy theme going on throughout. Very deserving of that one key prize. Thank you again to Upbeat Spade. I, I love this submission, dude. This is really cool. Now in third place, we have this one made by Fantasius. And I... I love this one so much, dude. It has my scout in this kind of anime style with this really cool stylized text for my name in the background. You can see my frostbite unusual effect is represented in the background, which is such a smart interpretation. This is so cool, man. I I'm going to be honest. I am not the biggest anime buff. I do not know a lot about anime, but I think this looks absolutely sick and I'm so glad that it exists absolutely fantastic artwork on this and the fact that this is in third place should speak volumes to the quality of submissions i I, <laughs> I almost feel bad like having to rank these because i love them so much dude i have nothing but gratitude for the people who took all of this time to make this incredible artwork for me it really means a lot to me, dude. It's such a nice thing. Now, in second place, we have this amazing banner made by Valu. I cannot believe the level of detail on this. The lighting is so cool. The background, they've got the cool effect on my weapons. They have my frostbite in there. They have this really cool shadow on the text. It's such a beautiful banner, dude. I love this thing. They even went through the extra detail of putting a miniature law on Bean's head. That's such a cute detail, man. I love that. It's just so nice, man. It's so, so clean. I believe this was made in Blender and it, it is just, it's, I, I, the only word I can keep circling back to is clean. It looks very clean, organized, well put together. They obviously know what they're doing with Blender. And it just came out so beautifully, dude. But would you believe we still have the first place winner left to cover? Now, this was actually a really highly debated topic in my Discord server. People were basically arguing between two submissions, which one was going to win. I mean, it was a full on civil war, but now I will finally reveal who the winner is. Let's set the record straight and show you your first place winner of the scout time banner competition a big round of applause to look how everybody our first place winner of <laughs> i <laughs> i had to do it man <laughs> no nah, no <nah. laughs> i had to put it in first place man the the line art it is just so <laughs> i can't <laughs> i'm not doing a second take i cannot dude <laughs> The line art, it's just, it's so beautiful. The level of detail, <laughs> the level of detail on my frostbite and my fish, it is just a beauty in simplicity. It is just, mwah. This honestly belongs in a museum. And I feel like this is the kind of piece where you can put 100 arts degree students in front of it. And, and each one of them is going to have a different takeaway from the piece. If you asked 
100 students to write an essay about this piece, they would all say something different because there's just so much depth in this piece. Now, I know you probably don't believe that this isn't the first place winner, and I honestly, I am shocked myself, but there is a submission that rises even above the pure artistic talent of Litau's artwork here. May I present to you the actual official winner of the banner competition. This was made by Raskan. And I am honestly, I am speechless. I, I saw this yesterday and I am still speechless today. It, it, it's such a beautiful piece. And I genuinely mean it when I say that. There is no other word for this than just beautiful. I want to get this printed out and put on my wall in like a big um, like painting frame. It's just so nice, dude. The atmosphere, the lighting, the ice, the snow. I, I just can't comprehend how you would make something like this. The level of detail, the colors, Bean looks absolutely phenomenal. It's just, this is truly art. The literal definition of art. I, I just, I, I don't have words for this. It's so hard for me to try to commentate on this piece because I'm looking at it and I'm just getting lost in the details. This piece means so much to me. Raskan, the, the creator of this piece, spent, I believe, two weeks making it, because when I first announced the banner competition, they were like, hey, I'm going to make you something really cool. This is some of my previous work, and I got really hyped. And even though I had seen their previous work, and I kind of knew what to expect, like I knew how amazing it was going to turn out, I was still blown away. Like, this is a hundred times better than I could have ever imagined. It's my god, I could talk about it all day, man. This is the winner, and I am going to set this as my YouTube banner for the foreseeable future. It's just so beautiful, man. I have this as my desktop background currently, and I'm not going to change that for a very, very long time. I'm just, I'm so, so, so grateful to Raskon, because this quality of work is not something I expected to see in a <laughs> in a Discord <laughs> banner competition. Uh, <laughs> it, it is just so, so beautiful, man. And I hope you enjoy the artwork as well. I wanted to make this video just to really bring attention to the amazing talent that is in my Discord server, and especially to thank all of the participants because it, it means so much to me, dude, to have all of these super talented artists come together and make these pieces for me, a goofy guy that makes videos on YouTube. It's just, it's surreal, you know what I mean? I, I'm honestly, I'm getting so choked up here, man. Um, <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention. So this version has the Ticket Boy, right? But they also made a second version that features the Sunday vest, which is so nice. So that way, when it inevitably gets into Team Fortress 2, I can still keep this amazing artwork and still have my scout set on there. It, it, it's such a nice little attention to detail, man. I just, I love it so much. I could gush on forever about this, but just to cap off this video, thank you so much. You, once again, I feel like I've said thank you 50 times, but I, <laughs> I really mean it, dude. This, this competition has gone so well, and I'm so grateful to all of the artists. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.